thoughts of guys on welcome to the pride go with before destruction challenge my name is mr freeze 2244 and this video will be doing a sight assassin method as well quick and easy one this will work both on casual mode and professional mode so far so for this one you're going to need the lock, classic lockpick or any lockpick you've got electronic key hacking device or a scrambler you're going to bring along the tranquilizer as well i'm going to start in the main location the bank entrance and we're going to do this on casual mode but it does work on professional mode don't worry so from the very start what we're actually going to do here is lock pick this door to our left and we're going to pass through this section to get to the vault first we're actually going to take out get the vault data core really really quickly actually so we're going to use the electronic key hacking device on this door and get down into the vault area and already we're already there uh, so what you want to do is uh, go through this door turn left and uh, lock pick your way into this little cabinet inside you'll find some chloroform and with this we can use this for a handy trick of taking out all the guards in the security room so go up to this air conditioning uh, ventilation system pour the uh, chloroform into that and then go over to the air conditioning and then turn it on once you know everyone is pacified inside the security room or four of them you can go ahead and turn that off and then enter the security room if you're on professional mode take out the cameras on your right as you come in the room but uh, any other mode or whatever, it doesn't matter. Go and grab that uh, security disguise on the floor. Use your hacking device on that little thing in the corner. And then open the vault. So the only real difference between casual and professional is the cameras are in professional mode. And casual, there isn't any cameras. But that's literally the only reason. Only difference between this one and that one as I've seen so far. But this is a quick and easy way of getting into the vault and getting the data core quite quickly. Use the hacking device on that thing there to uh, turn off the lasers. Retrieve the data core. And now we exit the vault. What we need to do now is go and get ourselves a briefcase. And it's not one too far away. So we're going to go and grab that real quick. Lock pick this gate to the right. Pass through to the next area and you'll see a briefcase just on the, a shelf at the back. Conceal this data core inside the, the briefcase itself. And you can go ahead and walk around freely now without getting caught. Now we need to head up to Athena Savalas where she is actually going to be for the challenge. And uh, we're actually... So if you didn't know what the challenge was, we have to like throw, shove her head into like that, that statue. Not that statue, sorry. A little trophy that she has. So if you've played uh, if you've played that elusive target, Sean Bean, where you shove his head into the pen, it's the same kind of kill. But we just need to get her into the position to do that. You can pass straight through this area. There is a couple of enforcers inside the security room, but you shouldn't have to worry too much about it. And uh, just use your key card on that door there. Head on upstairs. You're going to have a couple of, couple of enforcers up here, but you shouldn't have too much to worry about as long as you stay out of their line of sight. Use the key card on this door. And now we're in this area here. Now, Athena should be in the room opposite us, but what we're going to do right now is just drop that briefcase right there for this security guard to take the briefcase out of the area. We just need to get him out of the room, really. So he's going to take that down to the security room, just one floor down from us, and we're going to go and retrieve that in a little bit, because it's right next to the exit anyway. Just grab a coin from here, a commemorative coin. There's a couple there, you can go grab those. But he's going to be heading downstairs, so you don't need to worry about him too much. Turn on this gramophone and place the coin right next to this, uh, this uh, little trophy. What it's going to do, the gramophone is going to distract the target over here. And then uh, while she's being distracted, we're going to shoot these two guards with a tranquilizer uh, pistol that we brought in with us. And then we're going to slam our target's head into that trophy. Because she's going to turn off the gramophone and she's going to notice the coin. And that will give you the opportunity to uh, do that. Just make sure you take out these guards nice and quickly. So after she's turned it off, she's going to notice the coin. When she goes over there, just go and slam her head into it. And that will take care of that particular challenge. So that's Pride Goeth before destruction. 
if you were finished with that challenge and that's all the challenge you care about then you feel free to exit the video now uh, but if it if you did and uh, help you out make sure you are liking it liking the video and subscribing if you are new to the channel and don't forget to deal that bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams too so if you're with me to the end we went into that room there with the the key that she dropped on the floor and uh, we retrieved the exit key the ceo exit key card we dropped our tranquilizer in the door in the way because we wanted to discover the gun and then walk away now you might get a body found here like his like on my screen but don't worry because it's a tranquilizer uh, knockout it's not going to affect your uh, score or anything so don't worry about that there's a security guard in the room we're going to wait for him to turn around we need to retrieve the briefcase right now so just on the opposite side of the room I'm gonna quickly grab that and then head straight to the exit it's just around the corner so there's a nice quick and easy sign assassin if you are wondering how to do it take this exit here and we're done and uh, once you've exited the mission, you'll get all your challenges popped before you at the end. If this is your first time starting an assassinate, you'll get all those awards. But for this one, we wanted the uh, Pride Goeth Before Destruction Challenge. And that's how you do it. So uh, hopefully this has helped you out. Drop a like on the video if it did. Subscribe if you are brand new to the channel, just like I said earlier. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. Or click in the link in the description if you've missed any of these videos that i've covered so far on this map that i've covered just hit the link in the descriptions of the full playlist of videos that i've covered so far uh including the silent assassin suit only from the master mode so until uh, the next video i'll see you later cheers <laughs>